Man, I'm, uh, honestly, I'm a bit nervous. This is, this is my first time. First time what? A, first time being uh, on, on your show. Talk show. <laughs> on a talk show. Um, <laughs> You are chosen for today's episode for a multitude of reasons. You are one of the youngest collector that I've known from the toy photography community who okay. started out as collecting toys first <laughs> and then you went on to photographing toys which you gained a lot of followings. But what's interesting, Hafiz, that you used your ability, your, your social media presence to then create commission work which you get paid. Yeah. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is true. That is true. Now, yeah. how did it all start for you? How did how did all this, how did, yeah, Buff, yeah, yeah. How did Buff Trooper and everything started, right? Um, Definitely, it started off with just uh, watching The Force Awakens and in the cinema and then it... Um, I got excited, you know? I wanted to... Me too. Collect <laughs> you, you too, <laughs> right? I mean, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. How did toy collecting suddenly went into like a skilled right into photography Man, how, how did um, it happen how all did it right. work for you uh, that started off with just having a phone a few toys and a photo box right very very cheap one and then I just like set up my toys you know just pose them regularly and just snap with my phone right that's it that's it then I realized I remember I have my family's uh, Canon 600D it was just lying about Give it a try, right? I found work more or less. I found Black Series. I found all of these guys who do toy photography and they were amazing. They would shoot with like huge diorama sets. They would shoot with like uh, DG Rama even using a monitor. Using a monitor as your uh, diorama. That's when I felt like, you know, I want to try that. I want to try to do my toy photography from using just a black box to having a scene. You know, that's that's how I start toy photography and that's where I am today. Yeah. Now, I recall seeing your page only have like double digit followers, but but right now, right now, <laughs> you have about 3,000 uh, 3, 3, 3, yeah. followers. 3,000 plus. I never knew taking toy pics can be so oh, popular. Man. Um, what happened? How did it blow up? Man, uh, for one thing, it was definitely from the toy community itself. They helped me a lot, not gonna lie. Um, they had this like um, hashtag, daily hashtag, so it's called. Now, now that you've amassed a following on Instagram, how mm -hmm. do you, uh, from there, how did the commission work happen? How did you manage to leverage on the people mm -hmm. who follow your work to then want to purchase your work? Ah, uh, the uh, customs, uh, the commissions. Well, uh, the customers and the customs and commissions started off with just me wanting a different type of trooper, something that Hasbro hasn't made. It comes from like, Oh, uh, you know, I want, I want to have the five hundred first trooper, for example. But uh, Malaysia didn't have, right? As for Malaysia didn't have at the time, I made it myself. Bought some acrylic paint, painted it myself. It's done. That's how commission started. And from there, I posted my work on Facebook. I posted my work on Instagram, and people, uh, the locals were like, "Hey, that's nice. Can I commission? Can I have? Uh, yeah, can I commission you to make one for me? Sure, why not?" All right, now enough chitty chatter. Let's get into the practical side. Hafiz versus Roderick, pro photographer versus amateur <laughs> photographer. Because I know jack shit about shooting toys. Are you up for it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. In the next episode, I'll be going up against a person called Amanda Abigail who photographs baby photography. If you're into that, stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out.